This is how I've always been. Just being in the music business and, and having the entire world judging me instead of 400 kids at high school, it's not much different. I'm still gonna do what I want. I'm, I'm, you know, whether I sell 12 main records or one record or whether people are into me at Monday and are into Britney on Tuesday or, or whatever, you know, it's, it doesn't matter to me. Tracking vocals do not enter. Never listen to signs like that. I was at a radio station the other day and somebody called in and they were like, you know, how did you get started? And I was like, I sent a demo tape through the mail. And they're like, that's not, no way, because people do that every day. I know like 1,500 people send demo tapes a day, but that's what I did. And they saw our picture and they flew us down. So I just that day, I was in a group for the first two years. And then I went solo, choice. We never came out. We did a whole album and never came out. There You Go was probably the most exciting moment in my life. Like, I decided after those three days of shooting that video that that's all I ever wanted to do. I just want to make songs about videos. But I think for an introduction for the world to first see me, There You Go was the perfect video. And I think it just, it captured my personality, which is really hard to do. Well, I'm kind of a tomboy, I guess, kind of. Um, I've always been the only girl in my group of friends and they named me Pink. The first, actually the big guy that just walked out of here, that's my best friend. He does my security now and I grew up with him and he named me basically because of Reservoir Dogs. The Reservoir Dogs came out and Mr. Pink was in there and he was the outspoken one. So I got dubbed. And then um, also because when I get embarrassed I turn pink and somebody embarrassed me really bad. Turn pink. It's something I never lived down actually, and now it's just I really never live it down now. <laughs> it's, your, it's your first VMAs. You gotta be like, just the drill must be flowing. I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a cliche. Pink hair. I'm like, yes, finally. Are you a little nervous about the competition for best new artist like Macy Gray's right in there? You know what? Uh, not everybody's great, so yeah, it's I like. Love yeah. your hair. Awesome, dude. So Carson Daly comes up and out oh, stages me. But you know, it's alright, it's alright. Is this y'all's first time performing the song since the video? Yep, yep. Really? Are yep. you nervous? I'm so excited. I love really? this song. Really? I can't wait. I'm I love the song too. I always <laughs> try to sing the words, but I cannot. It's Boulevard Boule, Cache, Yay, Avec Moi. Avec Moi. I still don't know what it means, but it's dirty. I walked by MTV. You know how they have the barricades in New York for TRL? And NSYNC was there, and I hadn't met them yet. And I was like, ah, nobody knows me. Let me just walk to the pizza shop. So I went to walk and one girl noticed me and then it was like a domino effect and everyone started screaming. And it was the first time anybody did that for me and I got really scared and I started screaming too. And this girl like jumped out in front of me. She's like, ah, I was like, ah. We just started screaming for like five minutes. I was like, okay, she's a nut. The last album was it's a great introduction. I'm really proud of a lot of the songs on that album. But it wasn't fully me and I knew it when I got up on stage and that fire wasn't there, especially singing to a dad. It's like singing karaoke. And I was like, okay, I need a band. <laughs> like, I named the album Misunderstood because um, I feel very misunderstood at times. I say the wrong things, I, um, I tell the truth, which tends to get me in trouble. And I'm a very eclectic person, so I feel that's misunderstood as well. <laughs> Everything I do, I just, you know, I've always said that since I was about this high. Do you have any idea what the first single might be? Hopefully it'll be this one called Get the Party Started, which is like techno-ish, hip-hop-y attitude. Just, it's all about what happens on the way to the club <laughs> instead of what happens at the club. This album is a lot different. It's a lot more versatile. It's, it's very true to life. And there's a song on there that's really personal to me, which is Family Portrait. And I wrote it not thinking when I write, I don't think about the consequences or the what people are gonna think when they hear it. I just write, and I, I write what I think moves me and what's gonna move the producer. And it was cool, and then I started letting people come in to listen to it. And I just felt really strange. I didn't like the feeling at all. People liked it, but it, I mean, most of the people that heard that song cried, so that's I don't know, my mom cried for four days when she heard that song, but I like to write. I like to upset people and make points and break down barriers and all that sort of stuff. So that's where my motivation comes from, definitely. 
I just keep thinking how gratifying it must be, because I remember when the album was first coming out, you were talking to me about how much this record meant to you and how it was so much more you. And to have it so well received, triple platinum, three singles, I mean, it just, it must be amazing, right? It's a little surreal. It feels really good, though. It's yeah. been, I can't even describe it. It's been a crazy year, but it was, at first I was kind of like, yeah, now I get to say I told you so. <laughs> exactly. So, I'm happy. My favorite part of touring, being on stage every night. Getting to see the different faces, you know, singing along with you and just waiting to see what you're going to say or do and laughing at you or with you, hopefully. I just love being on stage. It's where I'm probably the most comfortable. The new album's called Try This. Um, it was really fast, really easy. I started with Linda again, because that's my safe place. And uh, it was just different, you know. We came up with really great songs and then Tim Armstrong came along and they were on tour with the with his group, the Transplants, were on tour with um, Foo Fighters, and I went out on tour with them and slept on the bus and set up drums in the hallway and and guitars in the back and Pro Tools, and we recorded three songs on the bus in two days, and that was Trouble, Save My Life, and Oh My God. I had a lot to prove last time with Misunderstood. This time it was a lot easier to do what I wanted. So it was kind of, it was laid back, you know? and. It was just fun. It, wa it wasn't like, I didn't, it's, it's hard to explain really. I mean, the family portrait and the lonely girls and the dear diaries and the gnomes and all that stuff. This time it was just kind of like trouble and tonight's the night. And there is, it's very, it's also got a lot of personal stuff on the record. And the new record is called I'm Not Dead. Yes. I love that title because it's got a lot of balls and it's very, you know, it's a statement, mm -hmm. which, uh, which I think is really cool. And the song itself as well. Let's talk a bit about that track. Dead. Um, the track was sort of, we were, me and Billy Mann were in the studio for a month here down at the Magic Shop in New York and um, it was sort of the last day and usually the last day all you do is party and yeah. talk and listen to stuff but it, it was sort of done in 15 minutes and it's just about relationships and coming and going and growing and changing and just fear and just all of it. Anyone who's seen So What, the video, knows that you're kind of really venting in this song and doing it here in the in the, in the the back lot. I mean, is it is it kind of nice release, this whole song? And It's nice because Carrie was in it with me. Right. It's nice because he knows I'm psychotic and rolls his eyes and shows up still, so. Being a mama, I don't really feel like it's changed my songwriting other than the fact that I do it on Monday through Friday from 1 p.m. to 10 p.m. as opposed to every day until 4 a.m. Um, lyrically, I, I'm more aware of my cursing, but I haven't changed it yet. I think denial is the first step. And I feel like I've expanded as a person. I'm capable of feeling more, and I'm probably a little tiny bit more thoughtful, but um, other than that, I, I'm just having a lot more fun. If you could go back in time, what would you tell There You Go, Era Pink? Put the weed away. Can you see or feel anything? Really? Blunts for breakfast. Um, that would be one. Another would be, don't worry, you're not always going to be this angry. And another would be, oh, girlfriend, take those clothes off. You look good. You're not fat. You're not ugly. You look beautiful and you're f***ing. 20, so get over it. Pop music nowadays is given a little less credit than the pop music of yesteryear, but the Beatles and Bad Religion, to me, that's all pop music. Um, I love all of it, so I'm stoked to have a Songwriters Award. It's something that's very important to me, my writing, and I'd say performing and writing is all that matters to me. I would want somebody to say, I like pink because she made me realize I could have pink hair and sing any kind of music I wanted and look any type of way and say anything I wanted and be completely free. And, and she helped me to, to respect myself and to teach these guys out here to respect us as well. Just inspiration. As long as I provide motivation for somebody, then I'm good because that's what my favorite artist did for me.